Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you tonight? Hello, hello. Hello. No, why she say goodbye when I say hello? How are you? Very well, thanks. Okay. Good. You may start the class. Yeah. Okay. How was your day today? Hello, how was your day? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, good evening. Okay. In my case, uh, was a little tired, but I'm happy because uh, today is Friday. Tomorrow I'm going to rest. And You're not working, you're not working tomorrow. No, I don't. I won't. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. not. Okay. <laughs> good. Okay. Good. That's good news. What are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to, to shopping, uh, shopping with my mother because the... <laughs> Because Tuesday is, is her birthday and tomorrow uh, I am going to to give to, to, to give her. her. I'm going to give her uh -huh. her, her her present for her birthday. 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 Her birthday. Oh, really? Awesome. Congratulations. That's really nice. Okay. What about you, Miguel? What are your plans for tomorrow? Well, for tomorrow, I hope to rest. <laughs> so the, the flu cures me. Well, I hope so. You, you yeah, have the flu I, again? I, I have the flu since um, Monday. Since Monday? Yeah. Wow. Uh, this month, uh, uh, it was difficult for me because uh, the the last week I I am sick. I was so sick, and way same. It was the same. You were sick. Yeah, but today okay. is 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 the flu. Hmm. Have you taken any pills or drink anything? Yeah. Well, uh, actually, I I I am um, take. Uh, I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm taking the relief, and and so also amoxicillina. <laughs> and amoxicillina too. Okay. Yeah. Only. Yeah. Only that. Yeah. Okay. What about the rest? Hello, guys. Continue with the conversation. And I'm sorry about what I sent to you on the group. It, that wasn't for you, OK? <laughs> but still, it's good if you want to practice greetings, how to introduce yourself with someone else, <laughs> how to say, how's it going? Did you see the images that I sent on the WhatsApp group? Yes. I yes. So. That's something you can use. You can say, hey, hello. How's it going? Great. How about you? Great, too. What's your name? My name's Alan. And yours? I'm Rafael. Nice to meet you. You see? It's very useful. OK. 
Good, let's continue. So let me do the attendance guys so we can move on with your topic for today, which is about assessing risk vocabulary. We have to talk about risk assessment. Hmm, interesting. Okay, the attendance. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Welcome, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Claudia Maricela. Oh, thank you, Carol. There you are. Thank you. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Not here. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Excellent. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Not today. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. There she is. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. I know you're driving. Present, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Hmm. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Okay. Thank you for being here, guys. Today is Friday. Let's see what's up with the first part. What do you remember about yesterday's class? We were discussing about some meanings that we don't know some words and trying to identify or trying to understand what is the meaning. Excellent. What else? Good job, Alan. Okay. Okay, someone else. And the prototype. The prototype? What is the prototype? Okay. Ahí a media veía el video porque no lo alcancé a ver todo, pero tomar una Sí, picha, prometo verlo cuando. It's okay. We understand Ada. You have life to save. You have life to save. Thank you. Thank you for your work, actually. Okay. Yep. That was yesterday's class. Thank you. Chicos, recuerden, traten de tener su cámara encendida, por favor. It's very important. So today we have to talk about risk and hazards at the workplace. Let's continue describing vocabulary. What do you understand by risk? What is a risk? Mm, I guess that is like a fraud or something like that. A fraud? Danger. Something dangerous? Okay. Something suspicious. Suspicious. Something awful? Awful. 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 Hopeful or harmful? Harmful. Oh, harmful. Yes. Harmful. harmful. Okay. So, what is the difference between risk and hazard? Risk, riesgo, hazard, peligro. Okay. So in your own words, what is the difference between risk 
and hazards. Let's see, we will find out, okay? Let's see, and this is at your workplace. Have you ever heard the, the term risk assessment? Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Not at all? Nobody? Okay. What do you think it is about risk assessment? If risk is riesgo, okay, and assessment, what is assessment? Evaluation. Evaluation, right? Evaluation. Evaluation, that's right. So what do you think it might be? What could it be? Mm, yeah, risk assessment is clear. It's clear, right? It's to assess, to assess the level of risk in some areas in your job. Ada, for example, is exposed, is exposed to many risks, risks at, at her job. Um, I heard, I heard once that a nurse, a nurse was infected with diabetes type two, I think diabetes type two, because the needle, the needle of the injection by accident, she, um, she punched her finger with the needle of the injection of a diabetes type two patient so she got infected that's a risk by accident by, oh, by accident by negligence by negligence negligence yes uh -huh. could be but if it is a that's a risk that ada goes through ada has many risks i mean she can get hurt she can cut her hand with a V-stree, for example, very sharpened knife, um, and so many, so many risks at job, at work. One common risk. What is a common risk in a job, guys? In, in my job, teacher, is very common this time because I I, I work for insurance. It's very common. Uh, for example, different policies cover a risk. Um, and we ensure insuring a risk. For example, a risk that someone will die and risk of someone getting sick or risk of having an accident in, in, in a car. This is my everyday. This is my everyday, everyday story. That's your everyday story. Okay. Now at the facilities of your job, for example, <laughs> the stairs the stairs are a risk it is dangerous okay to walk on the stairs okay you need to use the handrail let me see if this is right yeah the handrail you know what is a handrail I'm not okay. Yeah. What is it, Alex, in your own words? Um like the the bar when you can you gather in order to you can grab well, grab uh, mm, okay, I got it. <laughs> you must grab the bar to walk on the stairs, okay? So so it means to assess the level of risk to evaluate how riskful it is to walk on the stairs. How about the elevator? Hmm. Yeah, and you think the elevator. How, mu how, many, how many people can fit on an elevator? How much weight does the elevator support? Okay. Why should organizations design and be trained to apply a risk assessment. Why should organizations design and be trained to apply 
a risk assessment. Train, design. Mm -hmm. Come on. You say for the... Save the employee's life. The, for the safety of the employee's life. Avoid for, injuries. To avoid injuries, labor accidents, and so on. Okay. So an example, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Yes, I actually worked for an insurance company too. I used to be an interpreter for, um, for a call center and the injured, injured workers used to call that call center in Spanish and I had to interpret whatever they said to an adjuster. An adjuster is someone from an insurance company. An adjuster is someone from an, from an, um, an insurance company who is in charge of getting the details of how an, an accident happened, a work accident happened. How did it happen? So I used to go like, eh, gracias por llamar, mi nombre es Rafael, eh, con quien tengo el gusto. Hola, mi nombre es Juan. Necesito hablar con mi ajustador de la aseguranza porque fíjese que, y este es un caso real, me corté la pierna en tres partes con la sierra eléctrica. Ok, no hay problema Juan, y ya está bien, ya me operaron, eh, solo me faltan las terapias físicas, me estoy recuperando, ahí hay que irse a hacer el muestreo de la, del casquet, como era que decían, de la prótesis para las piernas. Ok, muy bien, en un momento le conecto. Conectada, ok, hi, my name is Juan, I mean, my name is Rafael, I have Juan on the line, he had an accident at work. This is his case number. I will be interpreting Juan. Do you accept the call? Oh, yes. This is Brittany. I'm the adjuster. I will be talking to Juan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Juan, this is Brittany. Thank you. Okay. Ask him, how did it happen? Don Juan, ¿cómo pasó el accidente? Ah, fíjese que estaba yo manipulando la, la sierra. Y en eso se me zafó de las manos, salió volando usted y me voló la pierna. Ok, I, listen, I was handling the saw at work. I was handling the saw at work and out of the sudden, it went out of control and it caught my leg. Ok. What happened? And this is the adjuster. What happened after that? Don Juan, ¿qué pasó después de eso? Ah, no, pues yo me desmayé. No recuerdo nada. Solo dicen que pegué un grito y caí en el suelo. Okay. I don't know what happened. I lost consciousness and I faint onto the floor. I don't remember anything. They say that I yelled before falling on the ground. Yeah, see. Sí. Yo tenía que ser Juan. No era, he says that this, 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 and that. It's not narrative. You have to become, the color is really difficult. Okay. So how could this have been prevented? ¿Cómo podría haber sido uh, prevenido este accidente? Okay. Conducting an assessment of risk, a risk assessment. Let's see how the saw Cómo está la, um, how the, um, la sierra está conectada. ¿Dónde está conectada la sierra? So let's see how the saw is plugged into the wall outlet. Where is the saw connected to prevent this type of accidents? Okay. And so on. That's the way you assess the risk. And specifically for this reason, to avoid work accidents, organizations need to design and be trained to apply a risk assessment. Okay, so that's my example. I'll split you in groups. You have to make these questions, okay, discuss in the group, and then I will select some of you 
to uh, give your responses, okay? Your answers, got it? Got it. Any questions? No questions, okay. Good, 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 good. Acabo de volver de mi clase presencial, estuvo súper chiva. Me asignaron un básico uno y ya me hacía falta manejar, chicos. De verdad que se siente, wow, salir de la casa. Y descubrí que el, que el bocho, le iba a decir que el conejo tiene Bluetooth. <risa> so I was like, woo. Listening to music, I was so happy. Okay, let's go. Guardian account. Guardian account? No, it's not Guardian account. It's actually Cognizant. I think it's the name. Now, um, hold on. No, 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 it's not Cognizant. Wait. Oh my God, I can't remember. Yeah, it's Cognizant. Yeah, that's the name of the of the call center. Amazing place. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. You will be in trios. Take the invitation. The questions are in your Zoom chat. Let's do it. <laughs> Rina, let's go. The questions are on your what's on your Zoom chat. Let me send them to the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I'll send them to the to the WhatsApp too. Mm, okay. But they are in the manual. Yeah, that's okay. page thirty-three. Page Sorry. thirty-three. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thirty-three. Let's see. Have you ever heard the term for this assessment? Assessment. I never heard if I never heard that meaning before. Actually, the first time I always. Uh, I always heard the, the term um, security, uh, home and environment, something like that. They are in charge of evaluate risk and potential uh, harmful uh, situation or places. Uh, what do you think it means? For me, it's like a committee, how can I say it? A group, a person that can uh, get an, a point of view of the risk of every area. And they decide how the, the process, procedures are going to, uh, to do in every place and for avoid any risk uh, situation. Why should organization design and be trained to apply one? Well, it's, uh, they design and train the personnel for uh, try to be more uh, safe workplace. And that's, uh, it's, it's um, Translating to a great uh, opportunities to job to get a, a, a workplace safety and save money in injuries. Maybe that a safety place. Safety place. Then maybe they save money in, in that case and avoid any um, injuries. Injuries. I guess. Calling a stop. <laughs> yeah. But I don't understand that question. 
teacher in the last question that it should be should why should be I, okay, I, no, sorry i'm sorry come again jocelyn uh, the last question, why should the organization decide and be trained to apply one we cannot understand so well? That means uh, maybe you wanted to say what organization should design this, this, this assessment and how to train and how to apply, right? Why they make... should they, por qué deberían las organizaciones diseñar y ser entrenadas en, en la aplicación de un, um, una evaluación de riesgos? Why should they be trained? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, I remember that when I was working in a factory, that was a, like an um, industrial factory, electronic factory. I remember that that we have that we have in the in the um, what do you mean? in the plant. I don't know how to say that. If I can say floor or something like that, but they used to to count the the days that that we had without incident and accident. And I remember that once one of my friends. She was manipulating the the machine, and the machines were designed to stop once you open the door. And at that time, that machine was not working, and the the technician um, reviewed the machine, and he forgot to to lock the the door with a with a key. Um I remember that when she opened the door, um, she insert her finger on the on the I think that I don't know if the same name on, on English, but it's troquel. That is a, a machine that, that cut Troqueladora. Um, yeah. Some some pieces and she insert her finger there. And the and the machine didn't didn't stop, and at the end she cut her finger. Um, I remember that that even if she was using the the correct equipment, and uh, was uh, was like like I don't know the the I don't know the name of um. I think that, that we have here in El Salvador some some groups that are in charge of, of verify that some accident and incident in some um what is the name of in some factories and they um went to the factory to verify if it was the it was a mistake of the of the um, Operator, or if it was a mistake of the or if the company, or if it was, or if it was, or, or if, if it, was. it was the a mistake of of the company, and also they asked us if we were trained to we will receive a training how to manipulate that kind of of machine, and if we already know what what are the the equipment that we have to use to work in that in that machine. So she she doesn't she doesn't have this part of the finger. So was very I don't know if I can say that but um I don't know then sangre I don't remember but había en todo el pasillo. Blue blue yeah so for that reason, I think that is important because if if she wanted or if she, yeah, I think that she went to the to that organization and she can um, she could um, add or place a demand to the company 
because she was following the correct process and the machine uh, the machine didn't work good. The machine but failed. The, machine failed. the machine failed, yeah. Hmm. Man, lose a finger. Ah. Yeah, she lost part of of her finger, but she's still working there. <laughs> At what? the end, she's still working there. And she won the yeah. the, the legal the suit. She, she won. She won the case. Yeah, she but uh, but uh, but at the end, I think that she received uh, she received money for for that. She received for a that compensation. Situation. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Consequences. Thank you. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. Necessary program for your work, Jose Antonio, because you could have to accident when you stay in a construction. <laughs> yeah, every day there are there are there are accidents huh. in the construction. Really? Yes. Really? What kind of accidents? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's gotta be always an accident in construction. Imagine hitting hitting your finger with the hammer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hammer. Yeah. They use the getting cut with a knife. Use the hands up. Using a hand saw. Yeah, hitting your hands with a hammer. <laughs> inserting an a nail a nail this is not gonna work inserting a nail on your yeah on your hand or your fingers this is painful i mean it's sharpened right yeah i was doing something here in the office this morning i'm sorry and i still have the tools here so. <laughs> that's crazy okay keep going in, in, in my work, I, to me, every day I have an accident with the, uh, how do you say, grappas, staples? Stapler, the stapler. The stapler, yeah. All day I have an accident with this. <laughs> yeah. So you, you're like Homer Simpson. Ouch! Ouch! Yeah. <laughs> Ouch! Every day. Okay. <laughs> well, but it's necessary uh, insurance. I, I I give you my number <laughs> for how do you say contract for your contract? Hire. Hire. Oh yeah, for you hire my service. <laughs> <laughs> the policies. The policies. Man, I was so happy driving today, Emil. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I miss that feeling. <laughs> But and there was traffic. I, I mean, imagine this. I, I finish the class at 7 30, and then I have to drive home for, uh, through La 75. Mm -hmm. so, oh, tunnel, so. No, actually, no, before the tunnels where the pupuserias are. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's always traffic there, but it's just that portion, and then no traffic. So that was fun listening to music journey smoking a cigarette and drinking coffee <laughs> i i miss i miss drive my car driving, driving. driving your car you're not because you're working from home no no i i'm going to, to i have to go to to my office my new job so what, my what car, happened to your car uh, i sell my old car and i you sold a new it. one I sold, I sold I sold my new car my old car I buy new and tomorrow the the mechanic bring brings to me my car will bring my car okay that happened to me the, two days ago when they brought the car I heard because it has a bazooka you know I don't like it but but it's not that noisy it's not very noisy it's not a big bazooka it's, it's very small. But I heard you know, the way and I was like, hey, here comes my car. <laughs> I don't like uh, a noisy cars. I, noisy I prefer, cars. I prefer uh, quiet. I know, I know, me too, but that's the way I bought it. And I don't know, <laughs> I just left it, you know. It's funny. 
Okay, let's keep going. Let's go back. Come back. Baby, come back. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. Hmm. Okay, so uh, why companies should conduct risk assessments to prevent work injuries on their employees to prevent any work accidents, right? Miriam and William, as they are still missing. William is not coming, okay. So let's move on. I'm going to project something and you're going to help me. Let's identify new vocabulary for you and for me. For you and for me, you and for me, build the world, make it better place. This guy is crazy. Yeah. Okay. I'm just happy. I'm sorry. Okay. So definitions of hazards. Definitions of hazards. Alan, go. Definition of hazards. Anything or condition with the potential to cause harm. Cause. Cause. To cause. 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 Harm. Uh, I continue? <laughs> yeah, please. Please. Uh, the potential of substance, person, activity, or process to cause harm, injuries, injury, or illness. Anything, material, substance, machine, methods, or ma matters, matters in the workplace that has the potential to cause, cause harm. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, cause, cause harm. Okay. Yeah. So what do we understand? What do we understand by this? I, in my case, I understand that it's something that can be uh, get a injuries or death for people that can manipulate something. They depends on the so not resistance. What everything. could be? What could be one of them? What could be an example of a hazardous? By the way, you say hazardous. What is the what is an example of a hazardous uh, material or equipment? Anything? What comes to your mind? It could be hazardous. People that manipulate fuel, for example, in a fuel terminal. Wait, wait. So, is it the people or the fuel? Um, the the fuel. The, the fuel. fuel yeah. yeah, that's the point. Okay, fuel is the material or substance in this case, right? Well, actually both, material and substance. Okay, a hazardous substance, a hazardous material. Okay, excellent. What else, Ada, what is hazardous in your job? It's the uh, substance, um, <laughs> anesthetics. Anesthetics, okay. Chloroform, uh, formaldehyde. Oh um, my God! It's a chloro. <laughs> can Can you get me? Can you get me some some chloroform? Yes. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, no. <laughs> no. Oh it's it's a it's a dangerous. Yes. Uh, the Substance. personal the personal for the clean the clean the instrument. Mm -hmm. It's a it's, it's a exposition for the accidents. It's frequently. It's very, very frequent. Very frequent to have one of them injured yeah. or okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, what about you, Fernando? Do you have any hazards at your job? Mm. Ah, uh, it's it's very. Uh, we're rare when in for my some, job for course, an accident for an accident an accident happened. because uh, that is an office and 
the only the only way to to get an accident because uh, maybe uh, could be an uh, ventilador. Oh, the fan. Ventilador que pueda caer. Uh, winder. A fan that no winder really. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Winder. <laughs> A fan that or, may, may may fall or, from, from the roof. Yeah, so maybe get the flu because the air conditioner. Oh, the flu is hazardous. When, yes, when the air conditioner oh. is is very high, some some people doesn't support that. Some people can say some people can take. Can take. Okay. Some people can't take. Okay. They can, oh, some people can bear um, the, yeah. high, uh, the, the high temperatures or low temperatures, actually, low temperatures. Hey, what about the computers? Fernando, computers are hazardous. Yes, but uh, in our case, the computers are, are small and very compact, so you, you, don't, you don't have to to repair or, or come on think about the materials what about the batteries on the laptops ah, yes yes maybe well, maybe could be a, a sort yes yeah, you know once i was giving technical support to a customer in dell when i was working in dell at dell and he called because he said his ac adapter you know, the AC adapter mm -hmm. was overheating. It was yes. too hot. So we replaced it. And it happened again. He called again. The AC adapter is hot. And guess what? The AC adapter, Ouch. the AC adapter melted. It got melted. And all the lights on the house went off. No lights on the house. <laughs> There is a allege incident. A hazardous incident? Allege. Allege. Spell, please. Allege. A L L E G E D. Alleged incident. Incident legado. Mm. What are you trying to say? Map. Aislado? Yeah. Aislado, and I'll... But yeah. this is um, this is a word that yeah. we use in for this kind of accidents. When a okay. console melts or... Already? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Very good. <laughs> Didn't know that. Okay, so you got it, right? Okay, let's move on. Categories of hazard, who helps me reading? Mm, me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Categories of hazard, safety, anything or condition that can cause physical injury, health, any infective agent, substance, situation or condition that directly attacks the body, body tissues causing occupational illness, environment, any pollution, waste, including noise and any form or quantity that impairs that quality of the working environment, such as dust, smoke, gas, gases, and <laughs> radioactivity, Radio and others. And others. Excellent. Good job, man. Um, any ineffective, let me see, condition, injury, injury, substance, the situation, condition directly attacks the body, tissues, tissues, causing occupa occupational illness, occupational illness, any pollution waste, including noise in any form or quantity that impairs. What is impair, guys? Can somebody look for the definition of impairs? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 wait. 
This is a compound word. I don't know the meaning. It is a compound word. Let's find out the meaning. Okay. What is the root? Everybody, what is the root of this word? In pairs. Pairs. Mm -hmm. Pairs is the root. What is the suffix? Sorry, the prefix. What is the prefix? El prefijo. Uh, no. Got it? In pairs. Okay, Perfect. so it is paired. It is paired. And this in pairs. Paired in pairs. The balancea or loses the balance, you know, of something. Okay, of the quality the quality of the working environment, such as dust, dust in the wind, uh -huh. smoke, smoke, Ga gases. Yeah, you say gases. Radioactivity, radioactivity, radio, no, radioactivity, radioactivity, and others. Good. Okay. So these are the categories. Anything or condition that can cause physical injury, something physical, health, Man, health could be a lot of things, actually. Substance, okay. <clears throat> Something that attacks the body tissues, causing occupational illness. For example, um, Ada said this is not tunnel carpiano, or I don't know. Okay, so this was caused for working. And you know why? Because I used to be standing, always standing with my hand like this on the desk. Yo cuando doy clases presenciales no me siento. Yo las dos horas me gusta estar parado. Tres o cuatro horas parado. So, y el escritorio es más bajo, entonces pongo mi mano así. Y eso me causaba el problema. Eso me, me causó el, el problema. So, that was a hazard for me. In environment, I think everybody knows, right? Pollution is a problem. Yeah, the same happens when you use uh, your mouth on your computer your risk can be affected, right? Totally. Okay, now let's think about it. If I am inhaling, inhaling, I'm breathing all the time and the air conditioner is dirty, is dirty, what is the category? What is the category if I'm breathing all the dust, you know, the dirtiness of the air conditioning environment okay. environment any pollution Wait, yeah, environment. listen i'm breathing okay. the the dirty the dirty air health yes. health yeah right because i'm getting sick Attacks okay the body correct uh-huh that is correct my health okay but on the other hand, if um, let's say there is a leak, oh, and this happened, this happened at a cold center. You know how they build cold centers now? The floor, I mean, the roof is really high, right? And you can see all the plumbery on the floor, right? Puedes ver las tuberías de aguas negras and everything, right? So once in Dell, when it was Dell, um one of the plum one of the plums was leaking and that was from aguas negras and i was like oh my god oh. it was leaking stinky. on our desk it was stinky you know and one of the managers noticed and he went and touched the water and he was oh, this, oh my god oh my <laughs> Nasty. Like that. What is that? Is it safety, health, or environment? Um. Wait, wait, Alexander. I have a lot of students in this class. Where are the others? Jose Antonio, Elvin, Karina, Carla. That's environment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's waste. That's waste, right? Okay, now that definitely impairs the quality of the working environment. That was environment. Okay, your health can be compromised, but difficult 
it will be very difficult for someone to touch or smell or drink that water. Uh, oh my God. Okay, two main classes. Who, who reads? Someone else to read, William? Someone else who wants to read? Natural geological history of the natural occurring events that will have a negative effect on people or the environment. Flood, lightning, will will fire, wildfires, wildfires, earthquake, 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 soil erosion. erosion, high high winds, hurricanes, hurricanes. Come? Hurricanes. Hurricanes. Volcanic eruption. Sink holes. Tsunami. Oh, no sé. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tsunami, drought, famine, head waves, and climate change. Climate, and climate change. Uh huh. Climate change. And man-made social, social, uh, sociological. Deep having an element of the human intent, negligence, or error, or involving a failure of a human made failure human -made, failure of a human made system. It pursued a have loss of life and property. It further affects a person, a personal person mental mental. Physical and social will be fire, flu, cream, crime, also, crime, also civil dis disorder, and terrorism and war. Okay. Thank you, Ada. That was great. Okay, guys, there's a lot of new words here. There's a lot of new words. I just found three that I couldn't remember. What were they for? I have four. What about you? What new words you don't identify here? Uh-huh. What words you don't identify? Do you understand fluid? Road. Again, Fernando? Draft. Flood, yeah, that's in an inundation. <laughs> a lot of water. Yeah, a lot of water. Fame mine. Can you say inundation? No. Let me explain. Okay, flood, as, as Justin said, is inundation. That's right. Uh huh. Lightning. Lightning crashes. A new mother dies. Uh huh. Lightning. Drone. Wait, wait, wait. What's lightning? Like a thunder. Thunder. Very good. Wildfires. Famine. Famine is starving to death. Starving to death. When you are hungry, too hungry, and you die. You got it? Ambruna. Famine. Nada que ver con starving. hungry or starving. Uh -huh. Famine. What about drought? Drought. That's for me, it's a new word. Okay, it comes from dry. Dry. Oh. But extremely, yeah. extremely dry. No water at all. Sequia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. That's right. Okay, heat waves. Heat waves. What happens here in El Salvador when waves are too big? Okay. El puerto. Uh, how do you say it here in El Salvador? There, there's marejada, right? Marea alta. Marea alta, marejada, right. Marea. Okay. Cl and by the way, you say climate change. Climate change. Climate. Now, all of these are classes of hazards, natural hazards. Now, men, men made, okay, man made, man made, man made. Um, sorry. 
Teacher, sure. what is the meaning about famine? 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 Famine. Famine is starving to death. Hambruna. Oh, okay. Sir, okay. Hambruna. Is it way natural? Do you think that's natural, Hambruna? Can, can Hambruna be natural? In Europe, Africa? Mm, nature. Yes, there's not enough water. Everybody dies. I got you. Yeah. Animals. In animals, it happens. Okay. Now, men made so, social, sociological, sociological threats. You understand threats? Yeah. That's another synonym for hazard. For hazard. Having an element of human intent. What is intent? Try. Try. Human intentions, right negligence that's very similar to spanish or error involving a failure of a human made system it, it results in huge do you understand huge loss yeah. yeah everybody yeah enormous big loss okay of life and property it further it further affects a person's mental, physical, and social well-being. Do you understand well-being, everybody? Johnny, mm. you're, you're too quiet today. Not too sure. I don't no. know what the meaning. It's what is like well -being? the benefit? No. Mm. Wellness. Wellness. You guess wellness. Okay. okay. Uh, bienestar, Johnny. Well-being. El bienestar de la persona. Physical and social being, well being. Bienestar social. Hey, that's the way you say bienestar social. Social well being. Fire well -being. Crime. What is arson? I just I just found it. Arson. Let me remember. Oh, I don't remember. My brain just broke. Crime arson. Incendio. Incendio provocado. That's right. Arson. I knew it. Civil disorder, terrorism, and war. All of these cause damage or harm to humans, but they are caused by humans. Other classes, Fernando, technology. Technology. When, when I Keep it reading. I... Read. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, then you give your example. Perfect. Good. That's Sorry it. for my dog, but uh, a hazard uh, originating from techno technological, technological, Te technological, technological or industrial conditions, including accidents, dangerous procedures, infrastructure, infrastructure failures or specific human activities that may cause loss of life, injury, illness, or other health impacts, property damage, loss of life, livelihoods, and services. Livelihoods. Livelihoods. Okay. And livelihoods. services. Mm -hmm. And services. Social and economic disruption or environmental damage. Uh, Structural collapse, communication fallouts, transportation, transportation, electrical fallouts, explosion. Esos son ejemplos, ¿verdad? Explosion yep, and yep. outage, 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 or outage. outages, explosions and outages, and outages, outages, outages. outages. There you go. Nuclear mm. fallouts, CBR and warfare. Chemical, Chemi chemical, chemical, biological, radi radiation, and nuclear are threat of terror against a nation. Mass destruction. Mass destruction. Industrial pollution, fires. Wow. Technology can cause all of this structural collapse. Communication. It's the most dangerous. <laughs> um, I don't almost, know. Almost, almost. Well, yeah. I mean, 
in a big scale, in a big scale, yes, it's the most dangerous. Yeah, because of chemical, biological radiation and nuclear. Hey, uh, China, uh, South Korea, South Korea is going into chemical war, right? They're building chemical bombs. Did you notice? Did you hear? No. Yeah. No. They're manufacturing chemical bombs now. That's that's even worse for me. That's even worse than nuclear bombs. Can you imagine? Oh, I don't want to picture that. And let's let's move <laughs> the picture. Man, this is really really dangerous. Hey, any new new words? Disruption. Harsh, harshes is like a black. Oh, outages. That's something you can use from home, Fernando. You can call your boss and say, "Hey, sorry, I have an outage." I have an outage, which means outage. no power, no electricity Wonderful. at all in your my, neighborhood, in your yeah. neighborhood. My boss knows that I, I, I have a laptop, so they, they, te <laughs> they tell me, well, well uh, you can work for two hours approximately. Approximately. Yes, approximately. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to your house and, and I'll bring you another one, okay? Uh, Man, that's crazy. Okay. Uh huh. That's an outage. What about disruption? It's like a. There's a lot of words. Social and economic disruption. Disorder. Mm, no, social and economic disruption. Ah, social and economic disruption. Mm -hmm. And I found some something else. I just lost it here. Hmm. An, an example about it? At, of disruption. It is yeah. similar to in what was the previous one? Impair, a disruption. Oh. For example, the quarantine, the quarantine created a disruption in, in many families. I mean, many families are on economic disruption. Before they used to make a lot of money and now that's money, that's a disruption. Okay, let's move in. There's a lot to see. Other classes of hazard, behavioral hazards. This is a reaction by a person subjected to a specific conditions of work and materials which result in physical harm, health and injury. How people behave at work can create hazardous conditions. For example, irresponsible behavior, horseplay, pranks, etc. Uh oh, this sounds like a call center thing, right? Too many jokes, you know, when you're horse playing with someone, okay, you're playing pranks on your co workers. For example, if a co worker at the office is about to take a seat and you remove the chair, what happens? Oh, they fall. Okay. They fall. Okay. And what about their butt? <laughs> No, really, yeah. they, they can break yeah. a bond, you know, on, on their butt if they fell on the, the on the floor or the hip, they can harm their hips. It's very clear. Leaving objects in pathways that causes obstruction and tripping. Tripping, you understand tripping? Yeah, William, what's tripping? I don't know. Carla Yanet? Tripping? No. No? Nobody? Okay. It's, a, it's when you're about to fall. You don't fall, but you almost fall. Okay. You got it? That's tripping. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It depends de como, o sea, es tropezar. That's the word. Tropezar. And deslizarse es diferente. Okay. Uh, Miguel sabe que esos términos son importantes en, en la, cuando levantas un caso de aseguranza, 
eh, vas y revisas qué fue lo que pasó y la narrativa dice mucho. Puede haber una gran diferencia entre tropezarse y deslizarse. Ambos pueden causar una, una lesión diferente. So, así de, de complejo es esto, señores. So be careful. You can trip or slide. Okay, you can slide on, on ice, for example, in the States is very common, very common for people to slide at the entrance of the gas stations of the stores. Si saben que en Estados Unidos si te deslizas en, en, un, en una tienda de una gasolinera, puedes demandar a la tienda por mucho dinero. Y hay, de hecho, hay mucha gente que pretende deslizarse dentro de las tiendas que todo queda grabado, right? So, <laughs> ya sí me tocaba trabajar a mí, como dice Miguel. Okay, let me do the attendance, guys. It's 9.07, so we can move on with that topic. Uh, ¿Les está gustando el tema? ¿Está aburrido? ¿Jugamos a otra cosa mejor? ¿Vemos videos? No sé, you tell me. <laughs> Motivational <Hey>. videos. <laughs> Let's watch a movie now. <laughs> I cannot do that. You know I can't, I'm sorry. Desearía, créanme, en ponerles algo bonito, porque sí tengo bastante material de eso. Ok. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Carol. Carol left. Oh, no. Ok. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifigenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you, Miriam. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umeño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Emelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, let's move on so we can finish the topic. One second. There we are. So that's behavior, running and rushing to different points about the workplace. Um, en el 2001, antes del terremoto, yo trabajaba en la dulcería de los cines Reforma. Cuando preparábamos las palomitas, todo el piso se llenaba de grasa. Nos tocaba poner cartones, pero cuando acababan los cartones, era matado el chiste de vernos agarrándonos de las cebillas de los hinchos, de los cinturones, para tirarnos unos a otros, a otro, al otro, al lado opuesto de la dulcería. ¿Sí saben dónde está la dulcería de los cines? ¿Dónde está toda la comida y todo eso? <risa> Día miércoles, dos dólares la entrada, señores. Era un show completo vernos patinando en el aceite del piso. It was so funny. Pero nunca nos dimos cuenta y mi jefe sabía probablemente de estos temas. Imagínense si uno de los dos se hubiera caído, si uno de nosotros se hubiera caído. Jue, y clac. That was crazy, but it was fun. It was really fun. Ok, let's move on. Wasn't I projecting this? Ok, good. Uh, next, the specifics of hazards could be physical, mechanical, or chemical. Really quick, physical. Let's just take a look at it. Do you find any new word? Doors, stairs, platforms, ladders. Be careful with that pronunciation. Ladders. Fire. Ladder. Ladders. Uh -huh. Ladders. Remember? The D sounds like an R between two vowels, ladders, fire, falling objects, manual handling, noise, vibration, temperature, radiation, radiation, lighting, or lightning, lightning, actually, 
air quality. Now mechanical, electricity, machinery, here's machinery, equipment, equipment, pressure vessels. What is a pressure vessel? In Spanish. Uh huh. What is it? Pressure. I'm sorry, what? De vapor. No. De vapor. Uh huh. No, pero. What, Alan? Alan? Yeah. Something like get a, a pressure or high. The content is, is under high pressure. Uh huh. It can explode like right. a pooper. Correct. Dangerous goods. Oh, um, ¿cómo se dice objeto en inglés? Ojo con esto, porque este término es muy utilizado en este ámbito. Goods. Goods. Good. Okay. Objetos. Dangerous goods. Dangerous goods. Uh -huh. okay. Fork lifts. Fork lifts. What is a fork lift? It's a fork. Um, upside, upside. A fork that lifts. <laughs> I knew yeah. it. A fork that lifts. Eso es, es un tenedor que levanta, right? Yeah. Palabra compuesta, very good. Monta carga, very good. Cranes. I, ya no me acuerdo qué es. What is cranes, cranes? What is a crane? It's a, an equipment that can use to uh, lift heavy weight with a... Um, Pluma? Pluma? I don't remember. It's, no. it's not a problem. It's like a, uh, oh, oh, oh yes, they use it in buildings. Oh my God! Yeah. What's the name in Spanish? Cranes. Grua. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. That's a crane. Okay. Chemical. Chemical substances, liquids, cleaning agents, dust, and fumes. Oh, fumes is different from smoke. Fumes, fumes are different from smoke. What do you understand by fumes? Vapors, vapors, vapors. Okay. Sorry, Ada, your microphone is 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 failing, Adita. Se está fallando su micrófono. Sorry. Acids, uh, potion, dangerous substances. Okay, this is very long, very extensive, guys. Biological, physiological, specific. Now I want to reach the point, this point. Okay. Management of hazards. Uh, can somebody else help me reading? Carla? Could you? Okay. Manage, management of hazards. All aspects of the workplace should be covered by a general risk assessment process that will reveal uh -huh. the significant attacks present and the control measures in place. Excellent, continue. Risk is, risk is the, likely, the likelihood of a substance person, activity or process to cause harm, injury or illness. Excellent. Very good. Harm. Here the H sounds like J. Harm, injury, or illness. Risk can be reduced. Hazards are controlled by good management. Keep an eye on this. That's the difference. Risk can be reduced. Hazards are controlled by good management. What do you understand by these terms, this uh, statement? Risk can be reduced. Hazards are controlled by good management. The risk can, is something that you can, you have no control about it, but you can reduce it. Mm -hmm. For example? Mm -hmm. Identify Active. the risk. Uh -huh. Give me examples of risks that you cannot uh, remove, that's the word. You cannot remove a risk 
like Alan was saying, the vapor made, uh, pressurized. For example, Ada, Ada has these big cylinders of oxygen at the hospital that can explode, but can they remove the oxygen? No, right? They cannot no. remove the, the oxygen. What can they do to reduce the risk? To revise the pressure. Yes, check the pressure and the valves, right? The ceilings, the ceilings and the plumbing, all of that reduces the mm -hmm. risk of explosion in this case. Now, hazards are controlled by good management. Why? Why are hazards controlled by good management? Uh, we can design procedures to manipulate that things. Yes, you can decide upon, well, for example, a hazard. Um, uh, what is the hazard? In, in the example of the cylinder of oxygen, who manipulates the cylinders? People that's a training with a training to not know. That's, that's the point. You need to train the personnel to manipulate hazardous materials. And that's how you perform a good management. Um, con conducting trainings every three months, every six months, you know, how to manipulate hazardous goods. You, now you understood, right? Are we clear? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Fernando, you were you wanted to add something? Yes, Ada? Or uh, is frequently uh, the the area they manipulate the equipment and cylinder the oxygen and uh, push uh, the list uh -huh. the steps is frequently an area uh, uh, the list the pass or the step. O sea, es oh. frecuente en el área donde está el equipo, mm -hmm. un listado. Yes, o there's always cilindro, a list. En el cilindro se coloca un listado para manipularlo. And, person... and maintenance, right? Yes. M maintenance, when was the last time they charged the cylinder and so on? Es porque lo manipula cualquiera, entonces es necesario colocar eh, un listado de pasos, cómo se va a calibrar, a revisar, oh porque puede God. estallar con oxígeno o sin mm -hmm. oxígeno. Entonces, really? es, frecuente, es frecuente que en las maquinarias de anestesia exista un listado de pasos, porque a veces el que limpia puede, puede provocar un accidente. My God. No necesariamente el, el, el especialista. Ya, 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 no voy a, ya no voy a ir a los hospitales, me está asustando. Eso. No. <risa> Todo está bajo control ahí. Okay. No, yo me sorprendí de, la, de las instalaciones del seguro de la Sacamil, que cuando lo remodelaron, ver que el oxígeno quedó en las paredes escondido. O sea, es una tubería completa que corre por todo el hospital y ahí solo están las válvulas por todos lados, donde son necesarios. Es de los más malos seguros este. Sí, y lo pango y Sacamil. En cuanto al servicio, imagino, no sé. Pero eso me gustó ver a mí, o sea, cómo las instalaciones las habían adecuado, aunque ya está todo deteriorado. But anyway. Anyways, let's see. So hazard reduction steps. This is the way you reduce the hazards. First, identify. Look for the hazard. Assessment and evaluation. Decide who might be harmed, how, and to what extent. Como y hasta que extensión, hasta que tanto alguien se puede lastimar con ese, um, esa amenaza. Controls. Decide whether the existing precautions are adequate, oh, adequate or more should be done. Do we have enough controls? Should we increase the controls? Monitoring and reviewing. Perio periodic, this is wrong. Periodic checking, no, it's okay. Periodic checking for continuous improvement. Periodic checking for continuous improvement. Solo el hecho de no lavarse las manos en el trabajo puede significar un gran peligro. 
para todos y ante todo en estas condiciones de COVID, right? Okay, so I'll send you this presentation. It's very tense. It's very adequate for this topic. You see? Okay. And how this is a flow chart, a flow chart on how to eliminate and control hazardous matters. Look at this at the source along the path and the worker. As we were saying, personal effect protective equipment, PPE. I guess you're familiar with this, right? Some of you are familiar with the PPE, the personal protective equipment. Yeah, nowadays it's very important. I'll send you this to your WhatsApp so you can have it there and study whenever you need. Let's move on with your book. Okay, now we have something more simple. We have a conversation on page 33, two managers are discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in their company. Before moving on, I need to remind Ada, I think, yeah. Yeah, Ada, uh, could you stay for 10 minutes? Okay, I was, yeah, I was with Alexander yesterday, we switched. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna read this for you guys really quick so you can practice with your classmates and then come to the front. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcus. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing establishing the, inc the incident probabilities, the potential severity, oh, severity, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Questions? What is a draft? What do you understand by first draft for the office safety plan? Like, uh, uh, my like, a sketch. like a sketch. A sketch. A sketch. In good, in what? <laughs> yeah, it's in good Salvadorian. Oh, you won't see this. Okay. Um, borrador, right? In good Salvadorian, Borra. right? Borrador. A borrador, <laughs> that's the way. Okay, any other? No, okay, so let's practice together in small groups. Remember, repeat, repeat, repeat as times as possible with your classmates. Pronunciation, my ears, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Let me recreate the groups, let's go. That's page 33.
Okay, Ben. Hola. Hola. Yes. Yes. Okay. Who wants to be Marcos and who wants to be Josué? Me, Marcos. Okay. Okay, I will be. Okay. Let me check if the, the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is a how you finish the first draft for the office safety play, plane jet. Already, Marcos, now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. Our, our work uh, on site is I come on. Ideas. 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 siempre me acuerdo. Ideas on countering risks because we haven't made much progress of that. Ideas. All right. No, uh -huh. All right. Sorry. Then I will work on establishing the incident probability, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That's all good. We, got, we want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, muy bien. Now, Jose Antonio and Rina, and Rina can you try? Let me check if the list of hazard and safety Measure is completed. Measure for electric shock, for electric burns. Yeah, it is how you finish it. the first draft for the office safety plan yet. Already, Marcos. Now I work on the plane for reporting, reporting hazard. hazard in excellent. Great. It'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we I'll, haven't made I'll work. I'll work. I'll work. I'll great. I'll work on some ideas or controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I I work on establishing the incident, probably, probably the potential severity, risk value in risk level. That's on goal. We want to have everything ready by, by the end on the week. The end, by the end of the week. Do it again. We want, no, we want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. By, by the end of the week. By, by, by the, the end, end of the week. week. By the end of the week. Okay. okay. And continue, William Fernando. Okay. William Fernando, that sounds like a nice name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 like a nice name. William Fernando. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Marcos. Okay. Let me check if the dip of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric barn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. I'll work on the plan for reporting and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. And I'll work on establishing the incident pro probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to Ooh, have everything ready by the end of the week. Sounds good. That sounds good. 
That sounds good. Better. Okay, do it again. And Josue. Okay. Ch ch change. Oh. I'm sorry, I think that is already. Yeah, right? Already, Marcus. No, I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. In which sorry, I think that, that was the, the other one, right? Great. Uh, sorry. Definition on risk level. Uh, let me check. I feel that. All right. Then I will work on establishing the uh -huh. incident um, probabilities, the potential severity, risk, value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. So... Okay, just one more time, gar girls. You can do it. What okay. about Johnny? Is Johnny here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Okay, if you want, you can try Johnny once again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hate I hate this thing, you know. I hate when, when they change Great job. when they change Zoom. <laughs> Great job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, discussing. <laughs> yeah, Zoom betrays me every time I jump into a room. Zoom betrays me. Recording in progress. <laughs> <laughs> and you try to to in how do you say the word? Um, sting. Sting. No. You try to um, catch students. No, it's sting. It's como escabullirse. Como... Oh, um, escabullirse. Uh -huh. And <laughs> okay. sneak out. Okay. You're trying to out? slink, slink, sneak out. Yeah, sling. Yeah. Sneak out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sneak out sounds like more yeah. often. Yeah, slink, sneak out. Yeah, that's that's my intention. You know, try to be very <laughs> quiet. Just just listen. Okay, guys. So you practice, I guess, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to split you one last time so you can discuss, or let's do it together, right? Let's do it together. Who has worked on the office safety plan? Who has worked on the office safety plan? Carol. Oswe. Oswe. Okay. He has worked the wheel. Now I want to plan the fourth after an incident. Okay. He has worked on the office safety plan. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is not. This is not very useful, not very common. I'm sorry. Whole worked, whole work, whole work. It's not common. Who work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Who will work? Who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Rene, you're very quiet. <laughs> Marco. Josue? Josue too? Oh, no, Marco. Marco. Why? 
in Marcos. Why? And because the, 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 the plan reporting has an incident. No okay. progress, no progress the other in the Josue. Uh -huh. Josue <laughs> says, all right, then I'll work on the stuff. No, wait, Marco, I haven't made much progress on that. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so Josue will work on the platform yeah. reporting hazards and incidents. Okay, what is yeah. an area of risk assessment process in which the managers haven't progressed much. What is the area? The office. Controlling risk. Establishing, Establishing the incident probabilities, which is your job right now. You only have 15 minutes, let's say, let me see, 20, yeah, 17 minutes is what you have. I need you to identify two areas, two hazardous areas, two areas of risk in your job. For example, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante works at the stadium sometimes, right, René? At the stadium. Think about the entrance of the stadium, okay? The field, the court. What are some hazardous areas in the stadium, guys? In the stadium. Um, Easy okay. car. The what? Easy car. DC. I don't, I'm not following you. No. Physical. Uh, physical. But what? What is that area? You mean where they do push-ups? Where the gym? In middle of yeah. the match, they maybe uh, could be hit by a ball or something oh. like that. Oh. Okay, so that's of, a hazard. Of the players, are, the, 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 the field is small. The players maybe is in need of, of him. And when the play is, is occurring, maybe in a, in a collision, they, the, the player can, could be uh, get uh, out of the, of the field and hit with, Hit René, I don't know. Mm. That happened is that in a match? Actually, in um, in the Estadio Jaraquiteño, in Santa Ana, you know why the stadium was named Oscar Quiteño? Yeah. Why? Santa. Why was it René? <laughs> you know the story? You know the story? No. There was a guy playing football at the stadium. I'm sorry, there, there was a guy playing football at the stadium, Oscar Quiteño, when it was the Santa Ana Stadium, right? So there was Oscar playing as a foot as a goalkeeper. goalkeeper he was the yes. he was the goalkeeper. Yeah. And I, I remember he tried to stop the ball and he hit with one of the sides, I think this side, the left side, one of the bars of the goal of the goal. Oh. And he died. He immediately died on the field. So they named the stadium Oscar Quiteño. Oh. That's what my father said. I don't know. <laughs> I think it is true. I think it's true, but it's a nice story. Okay. So, yeah, that's a hazard. Yo siempre he tenido miedo de eso. De ver los, los juegos de fútbol, ver cómo se tira el portero o que se tira uno con el pie hacia adelante y él viene con las piernas abiertas. Oh, my God. So dangerous, or la cabeza when yeah. se tira, it's really dangerous. Okay, so you see, think two risks at your job. 
main risk? What are the most uh, hazardous areas in your job, okay? You only have 12 minutes to for this activity, so let's make it fun. Make sure you participate with your classmates. Let's go, one last time. Let's go, Jose Antonio. Jose Antonio, let's go. Identify in your job. Um, in my time, in a group of athletes. And this is how to say the worst. <laughs> the worst. Ah, uh, uh, this is worst thing that thing that can happen to an athlete uh, in youth, in youth, and, and the coach. También in the change your training plan in independent in the past the injury and in my case the this for badminton um, injured uh, the shoulder hombro verdad shoulder shoulders uh -huh. um, uh -huh. um, knee knee or dia might, uh huh, uh huh, and might, might, and uncle, uncle, the uncle, the uncle, the uncle, the uncle, the uncle, the the problem for athletes. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is a very extensive, um, a very extensive uh, topic. How mm -hmm. do you say? Fisura, no, wait. Uh, oh. Esguince. Esguince depends, depends the well, the grado. Depends Sprain. The... Sprain. Uh -huh. Twist. Sprain. 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 The injured athlete, when the athlete has a mal lesion, depends the grado. Así es el reposo y la recuperación. Uh -huh. Usted se encarga de la, de, de la recuperación física de, de lesiones. Usted trata de lesiones, René. Mm, no, pero en lo general, porque quiero decir, no tengo que saber esto. Sí, Ajá. por la postura, no trato, pero, las, las pero, posturas de los jugadores, ¿verdad? Así es. Sí, entonces ahí depende del grado de. de... O sea, lo que nosotros hacemos primero es. es si se le hizo el tobillo, digamos, una, una lesión de tobillo. Uh -huh. Si se le hizo el tobillo, no lo movemos. Si él lo puede mover aún con el pie, con el tobillo hinchado, o sea, ahí más o menos. Tiene que apoyar el pie. Sea, Ajá, se puede uh -huh. apoyarlo ahí. Depende. Ya si es torcedura grave, cuando sabemos que no puede apoyar el pie. Sí, es bien delicado. Es una señora que yo conozco, se, se torció, se, se cayó con la planta del pie. Se bajó del carro, ya está mayor. Se cayó sobre, sobre la planta del pie. Pasó varios días y le dolía el pie, le dolía. Y resulta que fracturado tenía. Por, después de los dedos, no sé cómo se llama esa parte del pie. Man. Yeah. Y ahí porque a veces no se da cuenta la gente por el peso también. Porque es por, debido al peso de uno, que se lesiona más. Mm -hmm. No cree la gente. Pero, pero... Now let's say it in English. <laughs> Okay. okay. Hazards. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know the name on English. You cut your finger? What? No, he's looking for for the name of Pulidora on um, English. The finger, the finger names? 
No, no, uh, the tool about uh, how do you say pulidora in English? Oh, pulidora, pulidora. I am looking for that. Is that the proper name? Is that the nombre propio? Isn't it Pulisher? Yeah. Pulisher. Mm -hmm. Polish. Polisher, polishing, polishing machine. Mm -hmm. Polish. It comes from Polish. Polisher. So something happened to someone with a polisher? How when you use it, it can. Now he's talking about my chain position. <laughs> Oh, something that I haven't done. Okay, come on, guys. You need to find two places in your job that are hazardous. My company, the danger is the contagious of COVID because we receive documents from uh, people who um, were in the hospital for, for COVID. Yeah, that is true. That's the most common um hazard right now, right? The most common risk to, to be infected. I just started today teaching live, you know, and I felt weird. I was wearing the mask all the time, but still, I mean, I was insecure. I felt weird. In, in my case, I use um, mask and um gloves 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 mm -hmm. what, um, what do you do um i received the documents uh for weeks freeze medical mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and i attention i attention the public I provide attention to the public, okay. That's in yours, okay. Yes, if you're in contact with a lot of people, uh, you have to be very careful nowadays. That is so yes. true. Okay, keep going, guys. We're almost done. The <laughs> Recording in progress. I got it. Gotcha. Recording is tough. <laughs> yeah, soon betrays me. Yeah. Okay. So, what are the risk areas in your job? Falling objects. Uh, Falling objects, for example. Um, for example, uh, they use uh, hammers, uh, not the steel hammers. It's like, uh, but it's not. It's not the steel. It's like uh, ru rubber hammers. Rubber, rubber hammers. Yes, and sometimes. No, knife, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I left everything here. Uh, really? Rubber hammers, what for? Uh, because they're, they're, uh, the tanks, uh, they used to transport uh, like sand, concrete, Samples. cement. No, cement, cement. Uh, cement, cement, yeah. concrete, concrete, it's concrete. Oh, really? Polvo. I don't remember. Powder, powder. Powder, yeah. 
they uh, transport powder, uh, cement powder. But when they are in this charge uh, process, they need to hit around. In some of the case, uh, the rubber hammer is fall from the, the, the container and they, they use, they must wear helmets. Helmets, glasses. Glasses and the, the this is not headphones, this. Airpods. Uh, Airpods, because mm -hmm. it's a noisy process and it's a dangerous when they are hitting the, the tank or because there are high pressures inside. Can oh my God. Them. That's really dangerous. And you're in that area? In my case, I'm just supervising or doing a checklist where they, they do a Good, uh, they are doing the process, uh, the procedures that are established for the company. Awesome. Okay, we're almost done. Two more minutes and we go back. Okay. Okay, recording is stopped. <laughs> Not yet. Industrial Corporation. Corporation. Yes. What do What do you do there? What What do you do? See, what do you do there? Oh, okay. Um, I know manager manager assistants. Oh, really? Manager okay. assistant. Assistant. Okay. Yes, but the traffic is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, so so it's a terrible traffic. <laughs> for for this, trouble. for this, I I I can get up very 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 early, but I I home uh, in the future change the situation. This is this is my home. <laughs> Yeah, temporarily. Yeah, is that what I suppose I suppose it's temporarily, but then uh, <laughs> it, it, there are another project. I don't I don't know what is the name in Los Chorros. They are build a new. Uh, they're building a new road. Yeah, they're building new. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what. What Perif is that? Periférico Cloud de Lars? Per Cauda Cauda Lars is uh, it's in Opico. It's yeah, it's in Opico. Yeah. But the Cloud. other one is, I can't remember the name. <laughs> I don't know, remember the name. Uh, it's a bypass. It's a bypass. Uh, bypass. It's a bypass. Yeah, By bypass the, was Chorros, yeah. Really? Bypasses. Yeah, that, that's the way they called it. Yeah, it's a bypass. This is gonna go passing that place. I think that's the way I heard it. Bypass Los Chorros. Via, via, I remember Viaducto. Or Viaducto, yes, yeah. Viaducto. That's right. Yeah. yeah, I remember. This is the number. The name. The name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job, okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you must have identified just two areas in your job that represent a risk for your coworkers and yourself. So just let me know who identified an area. Just one. Let me give you an example. Someone was talking about traffic you think being on the traffic every day for one hour is a risk? Of course. Why? Yeah. You are exposed to to be robbed. You're ex you are exposed to You're be exposed. robbed. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. 
meeting injury or get some kind of injuries or wonders? Once. I mean, once. once. Yeah, because on the bus, when the bus um, stop uh, suddenly, you can fall. Oh, if you're traveling by bus, yes, totally. Yeah. Totally. No, perdón, yo no, yo no. Hello. No me por gusto. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, let's leave it there. Le voy a dejar una tarea para el fin de semana. Ah. Ya. Yeah. Necesito que consigan cinco palabras relacionadas a este tema. Palabras eh, para Ada va a ser fácil esto. Uh, um, Alexander acaba de usar una wound, wound for example, wound herida, ok um, figure it out imagínate el proceso de un empleado que se hiere o tiene un accidente en el trabajo todo el proceso, desde que se cae, cómo se dice tropezarse ya lo viste, cómo se dice deslizarse cómo se dice desmayarse perder la conciencia Um, todo eso que puede co conllevar a que te saquen del trabajo te lleven a una a facility donde te traten un hospital y el proceso que sigue después okay, qué tipo de operaciones te pueden realizar y después post operatorio cómo se llama al tratamiento que va post operatorio todo eso the complication eh, también yeah if there are any complication ajá uh -huh. Tú, yo quiero que tú, tú seas muy creativo y me traigas cinco palabras el día lunes. Las vamos a revisar cuando empezamos las clases o vamos a, a aplicar en los primeros 30 minutos. Hablar sobre el diferente, el diferente vocabulario que se puede dar en ese entorno, ¿ok? Just be creative. Okay. Let me do the attendance. It's 9.59. Ada Suena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. Night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Good night. Night, José Antonio Cubías Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera, Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present, good night. Teacher. Good night, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Good night. Good night, Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Ok, Doc. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo nos va? Very, very tired, teacher. Tired, tired. Oh, tired. ¿Por qué yes. le está tocando tan pesado? Fíjese que el detalle es que yo trabajo con cirugía bajo radiación. Directamente, sí. Hay una exposición por la radioactividad. Radiation. Quizás 10 horas. No solo que no se vaya a poner verde, por favor. <risa> y me haga fuerte como Holt y destruya todo Ay, no. y lo que pasa es que son cirugías bastante complicadas la cirugía ha avanzado tanto no sé si usted ha oído hablar sobre la cirugía mínima invasiva ahora ya no hay tanta exposición de, de vísceras ni exposición en cavidades entonces ahora se hace una pequeña punción ya sea en la ingle en el área femoral en el área radial o en el área yugular. Entonces trabajamos mucho con pacientes que tienen problemas de un infarto cerebral, un infarto coronario, y el sea de todo, ¿verdad? Que es vascular periférico. Entonces se está dando muy frecuente eh, esos problemas. 
y con el Seguro Social hemos tenido problemas que los equipos están fallando. Entonces se programan cirugías al, a la hora que quede espacio en el área de cateterismo. Y el problema es que como yo trabajo 724, uh -huh. o sea, eso ya no toma, me toca peor. Entonces las emergencias salen a la hora que salen. Uh -huh. Ahora ya no se amputa mucho porque se trata de salvar miembros mucho, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y por eso las cirugías de mínima invasiva son sumamente caras. No sé qué. No, si yo estaba preocupada. A mí se me preocupa que, 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 que Insafor me, me saque, ¿verdad? Pero ni modo, si ya no se puede, así vamos a hacerlo. Es su trabajo. ¿Y ya le intentó hablar con Elena? Fíjese que como yo trato de, de ser... Realmente hasta ahorita no me han llamado. Quizá porque me he estado... Me reporto, ¿verdad? Con usted mando un, un mensaje a Elena, mando a no sé cómo se llama el chico también, como a tres les mando mensaje cuando yo sé a tiempo las cosas. Sí. Uh, en ese caso sí trato de ser lo más responsable que puedo. Y trato de, como le digo, he estado sacando de hecho, música en inglés. A mí me sorprende su, su grado de responsabilidad en ese sentido, porque hay alumnos que ni vienen y no, no se reportan, no dejan de venir. A mí se me preocupa venir así como que, puchica, no, ha, no, he visto, no sé ni qué van a hablar, porque se venía, ay, yo no vine ayer, entonces no sé qué voy a hacer. A sí, mire, por, va, los minutos, por los minutos de conexión sí me, me preocupa a mí, uh, pero sí, uh, escríbale a Elena y está en el grupo de ella y estoy seguro de que ella va a poder ayudarle. Fíjese sí. que yo estoy desarrollando algo y me gustaría que usted lo probara. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, este, le voy a enviar el link y pues uh -huh. usted puede navegar a través de eso, poniendo uh -huh. su dedo en el celular o el mouse, el puntero sobre las letras para poder ver qué es lo que dice. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, esta solo es la demo, este es un, un primer paso, es bien sencillo, presentarse a sí mismo, introducing yourself. Uh -huh. Y aquí va avanzando, aquí hay unas flechitas a la derecha y a la izquierda para retroceder. Uh -huh. Entonces, en cada hoja, usted puede mover el puntero y ver qué dice en cada lugar. En this lesson, Uh -huh. Read others by just saying hi or hello. Y aquí está todo uh -huh. lo que dice acá. Ok, luego hay un, luego empezamos con videos. Ok, uh -huh. acá está la explicación. Ay, disculpe lo feo que me miraba ahí, pero esto fue durante la cuarentena, de hecho. Entonces, uh, usted puede ver el video. Más bichito se ve ahí. Ah, más bichito, <risa> todo <risa> flaco. <risa> Ajá, entonces, quiero que pruebe esto para ver cómo le funciona. Y me okay. cuenta, me cuenta. Acá está clave del curso. Listen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Escucha, tenía que decir aquí, no repite. Uh -huh. okay. Listen carefully, escucha atentamente. Mimic, imita. Okay. Uh -huh. Imita la articulación, movimientos vocales. Mimic the articulation. Repeat uh -huh. aloud. Repite en voz alta. Uh -huh. Hasta lograrlo, cuantas veces sea necesario. Recomendación. Uh -huh. okay. Ok, headsets and private place. Tratar de ser un lugar privado, tranquilo, sin interrupciones. Ok, y luego empezamos la sesión. Esto uh -huh. que está acá es lo que se dice en el, en el video. Es bien corto. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh -huh. What's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? <laughs> Who do you live with? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Entonces, eso Hi. se hace en, de manera lenta, ¿no? Y luego viene la, el, el pace normal, el, um, la velocidad normal. Es lo mismo, pero ya a una velocidad que natural, ¿no? Ya al decir lo mismo, pero más naturalmente. Hello. Sí, por... What's your name? Y va leyendo. Ok, entonces, ¿por qué he estado dos veces? Porque primero voy a imitar de una manera lenta, despacio, articulando igual que mi boca, y después articulando ya de una manera normal. Ahora, con este video, ya cuando usted sienta confianza, este es vocabulario básico. Entonces, uh -huh. ya cuando usted sienta confianza, Agarra este audio como ejemplo y se graba. Ya puede comparar este audio con su grabación. Uh -huh. Ok. 
Sí, es voy... que a veces por querer leer rápido uno no pronuncia bien y hasta se, se come las palabras ¿verdad? y quiere apantallar a los demás. <risa> y al final sale, sale uno haciendo el, el ridículo en realidad, pues porque a mí a veces me da pena estar con los chicos que puchica lo, lo hablan como que es sí. su, su lengua na, natal, ¿verdad? porque es, es, es bien, a veces uno se incomoda, no por el hecho de que, de que uno no sabe, sino que la facilidad con que ellos lo hacen, pero ellos me dicen, no, es que yo ya recibí no sé cuántos cursos, ah, qué bien, vea, entonces a veces por eso, pero de ahí por lo demás, de modo, la vergüenza se pierde. Exacto, y ese es el punto, yo la felicito porque al final eh, no hay peor lucha que la que no se hace, ¿no? Sí, así Como es. dicen, eso, eso está bien. Eh, le voy a enviar ese link. Trate de repetir, okay. repetir, repetir cuantas veces sea necesario. Uh, Como aparece. Elena, entonces. Sí, sí, para que ella le diga cómo proceder en ese caso. Adita. Sí, porque en el caso de, creo que solo yo me voy a quedar. Fátima, la, creo que ya no, ya no se como que ya no quiere ella, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí me voy a quedar yo sola, espero que no. Tratar de ser lo más constante, porque ese es el detalle. A veces una clase es suficiente para perder el hilo de todo. Y si uno entra igual, quedamos igual. Sí. Le pido que no, no, no comparta ese link ahí. Vaya, teacher. Okay. Oye, yo sé que le va a funcionar, pero sí quiero, quiero ver si tiene resultados con eso. Eh, porque uf, fíjese que algo me sorprende usted lee, la pongo a leer algo y me lo lee, súper bien súper bien um, sería una buena manera de aprender también, agarrar, hay, ahora venden libros eh, seccionados o sea, usted abre el libro, de este lado está en inglés, de este lado está lo mismo, pero en español y así entonces eso está súper interesante también es como uh -huh. dos libros en uno, en un español y otro en inglés, pero están combinadas las páginas y en chivo, porque están traducidos textualmente, ¿no? Eso es bueno también. Bueno, vamos a buscar de eso, pero a mí me gusta cirugía. mucho. Cirugía. Sí, de cirugía, <risa> medicina, de todo. Sí, es de lo todo. que a uno le apasiona. Ok, Adita, ha sido un placer, bueno. cualquier cosa me escribe y me avisa cómo le va. Oye. Ok, gracias, Good. buenas noches, teacher. Good que night, descanse. same to you, Good bye night. bye. Sí.